What's up guys, welcome back to some videos. Sorry for a two month hiatus. Um, just this second, the third lockdown even that came in, just pretty really screwed up my bulk and it's just, um, haven't had any motivation to do videos and had other stuff getting in the way. But it's a new year, things are different. We're still in lockdown in the UK and we're gonna be for probably the next six weeks. So what I figured I'd do is actually show, um, I've got a whole month of lockdown training back in November uh, when I was training at my mate's home gym. And I figured it might give you guys some ideas of what sort of home equipment you might want to invest in that's like worthwhile, some exercises you can do with your home equipment that you may not have thought of. Because we were experimenting with a bunch of different things. Um, I now myself have got some more home weights and I'm doing a bunch of different funky exercises to try and get the best physique back as I can with just the kit I have. In the first lockdown, I had a very defeatist attitude and even though I had some weights at home, I just, I didn't use them at all. I didn't get any structure or routine down. Um, whereas now I'm really motivated to get back into shape. There'll probably be contests later on in the year. If not though, I still just want to look the leanest and biggest I can. Um, my bulk was kind of screwed up, but I am still growing and now I'm actually doing more of a recomp. But we'll get to all of that in different videos. Today I just wanted to go over a whole month of training uh, and just talk about it. So let's get on with it. So I'm going to show you um, a bunch of different training days that we did uh, across the course of a month um, and there were varying degrees of intensity. The main problem we had with the garden gym in November when the temperatures started to drop it became quite difficult to bear training in it. When you've got wind whipping at you when it's zero degrees um, it's just not nice. That, so that is the one problem with the garden gym we had uh, especially in the UK and I know a lot of other people are suffering with that. Um, so yeah maybe garden gyms aren't the best thing for winter um, but when we were training here in summer it was great um, so a simple bench press and half rack uh, and we're doing um, rest pause bench press sets so these are really really good uh, also this is a warm-up set even going into a, a rest pause bench press prep but I think the main thing to think about when you're thinking of home gyms is how much stuff can you get out of one piece of kit like how many exercises and a simple bench like this a half rack and a barbell you are pretty much covered you could pretty much get a full body workouts in um, easily, like really easily. So I think if you're gonna start investing in some home kit, a bench, um, a barbell, dumbbells, adjustable, uh, and then if you can afford or have the space for something like a half rack, it means you don't need a spot off for benching like this. You can actually go heavy without the risk when you're training at home. Um, there are lots of benefits to it. You can squat out of it, you can do rows out of it. Um, there's all kinds of just useful things. So this kit here is what I would begin with, and you know, build up some plates. And with that alone, you can do a lot of uh, good routines. A lot of my home client, a lot of my clients um, have over the course of the last year switched to training at home uh, because they've had the money to build a home gym and with the situations of gyms and everything it's just better to have access to your own at any time you want it's convenient you don't have to be at their opening hours you could train at 4am if that's preferable to you and for a lot of my clients it's just been about flexibility and you know having that consistent piece of equipment there that you can actually go and train with um, so during this, uh, this is a rest pause set. So this is how they're meant to be done. And if you want to get a big chest, do these exercises. You don't even need that much weight. I'm using what, 100 kilos here. Um, and basically just absolutely exhausting my chest. Just making sure I do controlled reps, actually feel the contractions on my chest. Um, and just work to absolute failure. Rest pauses are amazing. You should use them in a lot of different exercises. Um, as long as you've got enough weight. If you don't have enough weight, they kind of don't work, but yeah. Um, so after bench press on that day, um, I went for close grip bench. I've been having a massive focus recently, well over the last three months at least, on my arms. Um, they're just not up to scratch as what I want if I want to do a show. So a lot more close grip presses, uh, dips, a lot of heavy tricep isolation stuff, skull crushers, um, and more, uh, which uh, really help you know develop that long head tricep and that thickness. And it's also improved my bench strength, um, upping my triceps. So it's all in all good stuff. I'm just trying to balance out my physique with the kit I've got. Um, next up, we've got uh, incline muscle round for eyes. Um, I love these, and whenever I show these with my clients, they're staggered at how little weight you need to get a really good set out of them, just through sheer volume. So here's another thing you can do with your home training, is use muscle round sets, use volume sets, 
and you don't need as much weight. So I'm using, I think, like 15 kilos on each dumbbell here. Um, it might even be less than that. And I'm doing basically six reps, having a 10 second break at the pause, six reps. And the first two or three chunks of me are really light. Then you get into that fourth stage and your muscle is really fatigued, that volume really works. So you don't always, people get it in their head that they have to lift really heavy to get good contractions and you know to grow. But actually you can do a lot of really high volume stuff with minimal weight and just use different training methods. So these muscle rounds are good with the really short rests in between each. Um, it's just think about intensity when you're training and there are ways to get the intensity with um, some basic kit. Here's something that you might not thought to do is an across body press with a band. Basically, I would do this normally with a machine in the gym to you know work my inner pec more, and you can see that inner upper pec squeezing each rep. But I actually found with a resistance band, it was almost even better than with a machine. So in future, I might load up pec deck machines with resistance bands because you at that peak contraction, you get such a squeeze of a band compared to a machine, um, and it's really awesome. Um, again, with bands, you can do a lot of stuff. So single arm extensions, again, working the triceps. You can get a lot of door holders for this. So my clients who haven't got much money, um, I've got them to get that resistance band kit that I did a review of because it's actually really good. Um, and you can attach stuff to the bottom and top of door holders. And you pretty much sensibly have yourself a cable system then. You know, you can do all kinds of tricep stuff, shoulder stuff, face pulls with these cable um, resistance bands as if they were a cable pulley system. So uh, definitely, if you're really skint on money, get a resistance band kit with some door attachments. They're surprisingly good and there's a lot of exercises you can do with them. Um, this is a standard leg day for me. So I was doing, uh, you can see here, quite wide stance squats. Um, this is simply because I was trying to do a day where I targeted inner thighs more and um, I wanted to activate my glutes and hips more. Um, normally I'd do a much closer stance squat than this and I really did feel this in my adductors a lot. So I, we, we've got enough weight to squat heavy, it's just this session I wasn't, I've been I'm varying things up and it is the one thing I miss now because I haven't been able to go back to this gym for two months now is the last time I went to it. Um, I haven't actually done any heavy squatting really since then, which is unfortunate, but my legs are still somehow to manage to make so, uh, uh, gain size. Um, so again, like I said, this was a different kind of leg day, switching up, doing different exercises, like the Jefferson squat. My form isn't great here at all because I'm not used to this movement, okay? And I know my tempo is too fast, but I still really felt this in the muscles I was supposed to be feeling it, uh, in my inner thighs, in my quads a lot as well, in my glutes and hamstrings at the top when I squeeze. It's a really cool exercise. I just had my foot positioning a bit wrong here, which is why it looks a bit goofy. Uh, in other clips, I actually got it right, but we were over set sets, but we didn't actually end up recording those sets because I was just lazy. Um, but yeah, Jefferson squats. That, my form was wrong there, by the way, but I still felt it really nicely. Now, this belt loaded squat is a great idea, um, and we saw someone in the gym doing it just before the, the second lockdown. And essentially, it's a really quad focused exercise, and you can do this at home or in a gym really nicely. Um, where it really burns the quads. You can do it as a starter, as a finisher, but it is an excellent exercise. Um, it's pretty much almost replicating a hack squat in a movement, in a way, the way it forces your legs to move forward and put pressure on your quads, or at least that's how I was trying to do the exercise. Um, so all you need for that is a, a landmine attachment, a barbell, and a little belt like that, which wouldn't actually cost you that much money. And with a landmine attachment as well, there's a lot of different exercises you can do. You can do rows, all sorts. So um, just think about those sort of things when you're going to invest in kit. A landmine is great, you know. Um, so we did that. Uh, then a different uh, leg session. So this one you can see I'm squatting close to stance. Um, and I'm squatting in my trackies this time. Unfortunately, doing this actually ripped them. Um, there's like a nice strain mark at the back of them. So don't squat in vanquished trackies. They will not take the stretch. They're, they're nice stretch material, but not that stretchy. Um, so yeah, then I did um, some heavy working sets. This would be my standard leg day uh, sort of thing. If I went to a gym, I'd start off with the heavy squats. Um, four or five sets of 10, uh, a moderate to heavy weight, so 150 kilos is about the right range for me. Each week I was trying to push it up a little bit, so either do an extra set uh, or push the weight up by like five kilos, so next session I might have done 155. Um, but basically I was just really focusing on progressive overload, the training basics, and it has helped me um, regain a lot of my lost progress. 
because basically I didn't train for a good five months during the first lockdown. I lost a lot of size, I gained a lot of body fat, but it's all coming back quite quickly just from being consistent with training and using what kit we have to get the most out of it. So uh, this is a nice little um, workout here. So we've got a nice fat, easy curl bar. And essentially what we're doing with that is overhand curls because my forearms are very weak. Um, or you could use fat grips on a regular easy curl. For, uh, so basically forearm overhand curls, um, superset with some um, uh, regular dumbbell curls with a nice squeeze contraction to get full hit of the arms. And again, you can be using that half rack to chuck weights in and out. Obviously a really useful piece of kit. Uh, and then just squeeze reps. But you can see here I'm in my hoodie and it was already quite chilly on this day and it just, after this day, it just got colder and colder and colder and I, um, I eventually stopped uh, trading there because it was just hurting my joints to train in zero degree. And I would get so sweaty in my clothes, take them off, the cold air would blow and I'd get freezing cold and it was just the most horrible environment to train in. They're like, I just, I would rather it be absolutely boiling hot to be honest um, and overheating. So yeah, another exercise again, skull crushers. I'm doing a hell of a lot of these in different variations, behind the head, lying, all sorts. And my triceps were really weak two years ago and I've just been consistently hitting them, hitting them, hitting them, different angles, different exercises. Um, and it's really helped me progress them. Even throughout all the lockdowns, my triceps have been growing. My arms are the one thing that have like consistently improved despite everything else sort of going wrong because it's always fun to train arms as well. Um, and it will bring me on to a point in a minute about how you can train during lockdown and not be despondent and not sort of be defeatist about it like I was the first time. So what you can do is think about what kit you've got or what kit you might invest in. And with small amounts of weight, you can still build body parts pretty nicely. I think at the moment I have 40 kilos of weights, a barbell and two dumbbells, right? And that is actually plenty with a couple of resistance bands added in. Uh, my shoulders have been regrowing again. My arms have been adding some more size. I've been really focusing on the intensity of my workouts and how I'm training and just making sure it's structured. And I'm not just quitting. Like a lot of people, when the gym's shut, the motivation goes to train at home. You think, what's the point? I don't have enough stuff to do what I could in the gym. But actually, just use a bit of creativity, you know, think a bit, and maybe focus on a weak area that you can train or a weak area of your general physique and health. So it might be that you never, ever, ever do cardio when you go to the gym. Well, this is your chance to start getting your cardio fitness up. A lot of my clients, some of them have literally no kit. So I've been telling them to do uh, hit to batter classes. You can follow them on YouTube or you can come up with your own to really focus on a body part. And they are brutal. If anyone's ever actually done a full hit to batter workout, um, they're nasty. They really get you your muscles sore as well as getting your you know top end cardio fitness up there. Um, they're proper all out max out sort of sessions. And I used to teach them at Pure Gym. Uh, I hated teaching them because they were so hard, but I also loved it at the same time because it, it, they burned so many calories. When I was working at that gym doing those classes, I lost weight so quickly, pretty much partly from the 45 minute classes I was having to do a couple of days a week um, on top of my regular training. So, and that's something you do with no kit whatsoever, or maybe you can get a step, you know, to make it a bit more interesting, but you don't actually need anything much to really get yourself in better shape a lot a lot of the time it's up in here and my my mindset has been completely wrong uh, for a lot of last year and it's I finally got back into the the right headspace and a lot of people it's difficult I've like it's, it's literally my job to coach and train people and I've been struggling to motivate myself to train and get back into better shape um, and it sometimes just takes a kick or something to you know, get you going again, get that spark going, you know, get that motivation back. So hopefully this video has given you some ideas. Uh, it gets your spark back for training at home. Don't just give up. If you're really struggling for ideas or really just struggling to train at home or you can't get your diet right at home and you just need that accountability, you need that help, I am doing uh, discounts on my coaching for all throughout January. Um, so whether you're in lockdown in the UK, um, unfortunately, or whether you're anywhere else in the world and you really just want to improve how you look, um, I learned a lot last year and I've learned a hell of a lot of new exercises. Um, I'm doing a private exercise library for all of my clients. So basically it's me going through the exercise, describing exactly the different motions, how you're supposed to be doing it, where to fill the contractions, 
and all the different variations of the same exercise and I'm slowly building up a library so that um, you can go through and see an exact quick simple tutorial on how to do the exercise and it just makes it a lot easier um, and I don't think that many coaching services of individual people have that some of the bigger website ones have like videos instructional videos but um, I've already got a few out for people and I'm doing more I'm basically last year I was doing a lot to add to my coaching service as I couldn't really do much to improve my physique but now uh, getting back at it I know this year there'll be contests going gyms will reopen soon enough things will get back to normal so rather than moping around for the start of the year waiting for that to happen why not just get started right now there's no excuse to wait just get cracking you can start dieting now without a gym you can start doing some exercise now without a gym trim down body fat gain some muscle you don't have to have weights to do that um, so yeah I hope this uh, was a little bit of a January motivational video and giving you some ideas of you know bits of kit you might invest in that aren't too expensive and the thing is if you get them the weights kit doesn't really devalue so you can just sell it afterwards so it's kind of you're not really risking anything by buying it um, and when gyms reopen in the future you could just flog it again uh, but yeah uh, this has been the video I hope you enjoyed I have got more coming uh, I'm sorry for the two month break I've just not been in the motivational phase to make videos but now that's back as well I'm really full steam rolling and since the new year ticked over something just changed in me and I really just want to get back steam rolling and making progress helping as many clients as I can um, and growing my business that's pretty much what I'm down for so uh, drop me a DM on Instagram if you're interested um, and if you just ever have any questions at all as well just message me on Instagram I update that much more frequently and I reply to pretty much every single message I get there so um, yeah look forward to hearing from some of you and I hope you have a happy new year and fingers crossed COVID ends and everything can be back to normal by summer so let's just keep it together and keep training guys